Right, sorry I'm not in the pitch to start off with. This is, um... Okay, this is a review about um, my Connect gun. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, because if you probably haven't have noticed, it looks a little different from other ones, you know, it's, it's smaller, it looks a, a bit more like a gun, and it probably works a lot better too. Um, I, I realised that all the other guns on YouTube just barely fit together. They just, and people have concentrated too much on making it look like something that they've just become distracted from the point of it actually doesn't look like anything and it actually doesn't fire. So, um, I will show you how this works. Now, I've cheated a little bit. My ramrod, as I've, I've heard people calling it on YouTube, um, is glued together, which is probably what makes it a lot better. But basically, it's just one of the two of these and a, an orange connector um, glued gun down to a, a long grey rod. Or in this case, black one, so I can see easily my box. It's powered by rubber bands and a spring. Now this spring, I don't know what tension it is or what coil rate it is, but it's it's a spring nevertheless. Um, it's pretty smooth running this gun. If I should take out the the pusher of the rods for the magazine, I just take it out of the point in time because we don't need it quite just yet. And um, the the actual the actual fact is that. Uh, when people do reviews on, on YouTube with their connect guns, they never seem to work at the same time. So, basically, this goes in this little section here. You just pop it in. It fits perfectly. It doesn't roll around or anything. Basically, it fires like a tree. This is a true trigger. Basically, just pulls pulls down and up, and blocks the the barrel or whatever you want to call it. This can be taken apart, and to add more power to it, it makes a nice little thud noise when you put a rubber band on it. And that's about it for showing you the mechanism. It's I work on a system of. Pretty much, I go on two on like layers. So it's one, two, three, four, five layers, and then you connect everything onto the layers. Because with with if you're just going off from the layers and using la larger connectors, you're pretty much bound to um, well get the same shape every time. I mean, I remember when I used to make 2D, pretty much 2D guns, and they were just flat, and didn't fire, really, and, um, yeah, so, I will show you it firing, I mean, I have a, I have a Branson pickle jar right here, <laughs> not that I'm trying to, you know, promote Branson pickles in any way, I don't even eat them, by the way, so, although, for those of you who like it, I can't blame you, okay? So, you see there's a little hole here, it's a, just about as wide as a white connector, which is why I'm putting white connectors in. It holds, I've not really tried it out, I mean I've just put seven in, I think, <laughs> and that's filled it up halfway, so you can put 14 in it, but Excluding the fact that you've got to fit this in and it's gonna it's gonna push them all down. I don't think you could. But that is bang tidy. Uh, so there you go. Um you put a rubber band around it just to push it up. You know rubber bands are very useful things these days. Um and then we uh, basically put another rubber band around here just to make it a bit stronger. I'm just gonna check out the angle. I know it's a bit gay halfway through, but sorry for those who are actually 
Bring my stacks forward. Yeah. Gonna put it at the end of the table. The range on this isn't too brilliant, but I could shoot it from here to the other room, end of the room, and still hit something. It's just, it's just the matter of fact that it won't shoot 30 to 40 meters, which isn't what I was trying to achieve. But <laughs> it never really fails, apart from when you you've run out of bullets. You basically just pull this back, and oh, there you go. You're ready to well be loaded again. Um, you can make larger versions. But the distance between here and here is that on magazine guns, here's a tip for people making guns with magazines. The ramrod has to go straight through whatever's whole, what, the distance between the, the bullet and the ramrod. So say here's, here's the bullet and here's the ramrod. If that goes straight through, it's got to go, it's got to follow through exactly the same place where the bullet was. Or else it's just tapping it and it's not going to um, go through the barrel just as easy with this. It just it's because there's no propeller to make it go back. There's there's really no point, and there's no exact chambering. So um, so yeah, that was my pretty much my first connection video. <laughs> I hope I'm not talking like a, a nonce or anything to you. If any of you know what that word means. Um, Yes, I am. Um, me and me and my friend Ross, uh, two seven airsoft reviews on YouTube, are going to um, make some videos in the near future. Uh, we'll leave it to a surprise. So if you click on this um, on this link or whatever, you can then um, you know take a look. You know. So yeah, thank you for watching.